Okay, so this is my thermal tape case with the uh, Dell Voice Show motherboard in there. Underneath here is where I'm going to have to replace or upgrade the CPU. And currently, right now, here's the PCI slot for the USB 2. And you can see right here, coming off this port, here's the USB 2 cable going to the Sabrent. Uh, SATA adapter which goes to the bottom to the bottom uh, SATA port here and the top one's right there that's the boot one and there's the middle one and I uh, don't know if you could see how, because it's really dark down here in there. Right there is the uh, PCI Express slot. Alright, I'll come back to you. Okay, so what I've done so far is you can see I have the CPU out and the heat sink out. Here's a PCI card with the USB 2.0 this is the PCI Express card with three USB 3.0 with the cable now plugged in to the Sabrent that's gonna go that plugs into the to the hard drive cage here to the three terabyte data card so from now on when I access the 3 terabyte data card it's going to be using the 3.0 instead of the 2.0 I'm just going to leave the 2.0 in here I know it's a bit much to have uh, all these 2.0's since on the back of the case this is the old 2.0 so I have two here now I have three USB 3's here this is my NVIDIA card these are the sound ports and the Ethernet and the built-in VGA but as you can see on the back here the Dell Voice Show motherboard came with four USB ports already in the back so when all I'm done so when everything's done and put back together I'm going to have six 2.0 USB ports on the back and three 3.0 USB ports on the back along with the one 2.0 USB and the one 3.0 USB so this the heat sink as you can see already cleaned off the thermal paste from the heat sink. This is the Core 2 Duo 2.33 gigahertz. And this one here is the 3.33 gigahertz CPU. So let me go ahead and put that in there for you.